Hi, Miss Jennifer. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Let's make a moniker I, for I, you guys Eric was, together. Eric was teasing you. Eric was teasing you. He said for a split second she forgot who she was talking to. He no, no, around. no. I was thinking, I was trying to think of, um, well, no, I thought I said miss and I thought, well, maybe she should say missus. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I saw a squirrel. I saw a squirrel. But I'm trying to think of a moniker for Eric. I love you, by the way. How about... Oh, I love you too. Uh, Generica? No, no. Gen, um, Jennifer. Jarek. Or Jenniferic. No, this is a good <laughs> Anyway, we'll just call you Jennifer and him. And I don't know what. Why did I go down that rabbit hole? Jeez. It's just me, guys. You know me well enough. All right, we're going to tell, talk about something that neither of us know anything about, but I've heard talk of it so much. But uh, I just, you know, haven't really, it hasn't really piqued my. Um, curiosity to investigate it plus there's time constraints so we're going to ask some questions from uh, a blog member um here are she says hi lisa here are some oh it's about the new earth by the way i didn't mention that here are some specific questions for a channeling session on the new earth please ignore any questions that you might have already covered and another that i don't know uh, basically since we first learned about the new earth concept through people like dolores cannon and others time has passed now it seems we are very close to those changes in our body with dna upgrades and changes in the earth itself herself please give an update on what has happened so far and what is about to happen in the near future so here are the questions first of all this is a good one for you and me jennifer yeah. what is the new earth what is that, Eric? Um, well, okay, so I was actually asking Eric, I was like, what, you know, what really is this? And he says it's really um, like a theory, like an idea, um, like a, he says right now, it's like a forecast. It's like a forecast for Earth, oh, okay. um, so to speak, is how he puts it. It's um, with like, um, an, you know, the enlightenment of the, of the human race um it's it's all it's spirituality it's all connected to spirituality is what he says and it's like a forecast for the potential of earth all right well is it kind of like earth is in 3d and all of a sudden with the awakening going on and the shift that it shifts into another dimension like the fit the whole entire globe goes into the fifth dimension or not yeah or so, fourth dimension i don't know i yeah. don't want to get too, too um excited well what he's yes <laughs> Yeah, too, too, too excited too to get into the fifth. Yeah, no. too ambitious, yes. Mm -hmm. So how he's kind of putting it right now is that there really is, okay, so for anybody who's been through a spiritual awakening, it's like we think on the outside looking in, like, oh, you're awakened. It's like you're so enlightened. You're so this. You must be so happy. Well, for anybody who's been through one, it's a shit storm is is yeah. how he puts it it's it yeah. really is so he says it's going to be the same way like this global type of shift this new earth it'll be you know and, and we are experiencing some of that mess mm -hmm. right now happening to kind of get us into the to the next level so to speak but he says there's so much free will with humans that it's like again you'd have to take a snapshot of like 500 years to, to notice the difference. It happens so slowly, so gradually. So the shift of the earth from the old earth to the new earth is all about the humans living on it? Uh, or is it the earth herself, well, independent he, of hum humanity? He says it's not all about the humans, but the humans have so much of an effect on the earth. Mm. So he says, it's like, you really can't, they're not mutually ex exclusive is what okay. he's saying. You can't have one without the other. I see. Okay. okay. So how do we know if we're going through a spiritual awakening? And then how do we know that we have awakened, Eric? Um, so he says, really, one of the big things about knowing it's, Okay, first of all, what he's saying is that like an awakening is more of a, a marathon than a sprint. So even if you've reached a certain level of being awakened, that doesn't mean that you're fully awakened because you're 
you know, there's, there's always more to learn. There's more. And you're in a human body. You yes, know? you're in I a mean, human body. So yeah. you can't, yes, exactly. Um, he says, one of the big ways that you know that you're, that you're kind of on the right path, that you're, you know, enlightened, awakened, is he says the little day-to-day -day stuff that used to throw you way off kilter doesn't do that as much anymore. He said, oh. that's, that's a really good way to tell because those kind of things happen every day, you know? Yeah. So if you're like, ah, just, you know, just let it go. Like those things don't, and I don't know why he's using a poker reference. Um, do you know what tilt is? In no. Well, tilt? tilt, I know that if you try to get those big, you know, ball, game ball, or, you know, I don't know, those things and you have those things you pull and it says tilt, tilt, if you're tilting the table. Well, okay. Right. So if I, for any of you, poker players that are watching this if I got this wrong let, please don't you know don't hesitate to let me know but tilt tilt is like when you're agitated you, you oh. like if you get agitated then you like in poker if you're you know if you're whatever I guess the tilt would make you play not as well uh, or something okay. um yeah. so <laughs> for whatever reason Eric yeah. is using a poker reference I have no idea why um, I'm not a big poker player yes no, um, I'm not. So he says those things that, you know, in your life that would just kind of knock you off balance. Yeah. Um, don't yeah, I, I do know, that like, as like, much. Like somebody cuts you off in traffic. All of a sudden you feel kind of above that. Not above like you're better, but above like just detached from those yeah. little annoyances that no yes. longer are annoyances. They're just experiences. Is that what yes. you're saying in the nutshell? Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and he's also saying that there's that. Um, book don't sweat the small stuff mm -hmm. like when you stop sweating the small stuff as much like you know you're kind of headed in the right direction it's like you get to where you understand that there's more important things to do with your time than stress over stuff you have no control over yeah I read that a little bit every day to my kids uh, when when I was homeschooling them but anyway that makes me think of JP Sears you know he has this funny YouTube channel and one was about this about spiritually being awakening and you know, the ultimate spiritual away you know being and and he's like being all that like he's Buddha or something oh, he's sitting yeah. on the stairs and somebody kind of goes down the stairs and knocks him a little bit and he says hey watch it oh he's so unconscious oh. <laughs> that's so funny yeah yeah anyway Another rabbit hole. Yep. So That's how okay. do you know, so are you ever fully awakened? Um, or, or, or even Eric and spirits, you know, in, in your dimension, are they completely awakened? So what he's saying is he's like, there's absolutely for humans, a glass ceiling mm. that, that in your human form, you cannot break the glass ceiling there's just this is it this is the most the most enlightened human is never getting beyond this certain point just because oh, of the physical body still being okay. here so um so when we measure it you know he says if we want to measure it which people like measurements um there's a certain level that very few humans get to in the human form yeah. um because it takes a lot it really 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 takes a lot to maybe do. jesus buddha maybe yeah yeah like these are, yes like Yes, this, okay. this is the type of the type of people who would have reached that. Now, he says in spirit world, um, like he, he says, no, I haven't reached full, full enlightenment. There's still lessons I'm learning. There's still stuff I'm working on, things I need to experience. So no, he says I haven't, but you know, um, <laughs> he says, I'm not doing too shabby. Um, no, <laughs> so, no, you're not. Mommy's proud. Yeah, he's cute. Um, he's cute. But he, what he's saying, kind of, is like, um, for the souls on the other side who are so so enlightened, he says they're kind of in like different areas, and we're not really like we're not really communicating. Like it's difficult for humans to communicate with spirit because of the vibrations are yeah. so different. Mm. He said these spirits that are so 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 enlightened um a lot of times we're not communicating with them oh um, they have a, a gated entrance like river oaks bill air whatever no. that's what they, you guys go away you peons no, no, it's, no it's not it's no, not, i know i'm teasing i'm teasing uh, yeah it's more like absorbed back into source or, or oh, you know, okay. like that kind of a thing like, um it, it, it's he he says he actually he says i don't even understand kind of fully what what is going on up there 
Um, but very few souls are actually making it to that. Yeah, we're on the yeah, other side of the tracks, aren't we? All right, so um, uh, would like Archangel Michael be somebody who's completely, fully spiritually awakened? You know, it, it's it's very confusing because um, what Eric is saying is that, well, yes and no, because Archangel Michael still helps humanity so much. Yeah. And he says for, for the souls like Jesus and Buddha and, and the archangels and stuff who are still helping humanity, they still learn. Yeah, they why? Still... Is some of our stank rubbing off on them? Must be? No, 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 no. But they still, you know, they're still having experiences. They're oh, still, yeah, sure. Okay. You know, doing, doing that kind of stuff with us earthly, like you said, the wrong side of the tracks. Um, it, it's really not until, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to give you a year for this. But he says it's really not until all the souls elevate to the point where Earth doesn't need to be what Earth is right now. Okay. Okay. So then that's like, he says, that's like a, a mass awakening, like all the souls, you know, mm. we still come here because we still have so much to learn. Yeah. Um, so it's a, like you said, it's a marathon and it could take a hundred years, yeah. but the process yeah. it is actually going on. Yes. So it's good. Oh, Yes. Yes, it is. It is going on. Absolutely. Okay. Um, okay. How is it different from the, how is new earth different from the earth we know now? Not the populace on it, but the earth, mother earth herself. Um, or azaleas planted around? I don't know. Just give me something. So what's interesting is that what, who I, I hesitate to even say this, but he says, no, no, go ahead. Um, he said, Earth, brave. Earth would do much better without the humans on it. Oh, I know. Um, yeah. It, he said it just would, but, um, but I wouldn't, and he says, we'll say she, you know, because that's what we're referring to Mother Earth as, as she is designed to handle the human race. Yeah. So um, without the humans, it would be you know lush <laughs> oh yeah oh. yeah a lot of vegetation a lot of animals he said a lot yeah. of animals still yeah oh that's so disappointing but you know <laughs> i know it's true i mean I, you know and, and uh someone told me i think you did eric that you know we we worry about killing mother earth but we no. will go ext extinct first and yes. then she will lick her wounds and go on yes well what's interesting is as you were saying that he was telling me even if if, if Mother Earth, if there was nothing, if there was nothing left on, she would, she would be reborn from within. Okay. So, so if everything burned, all the plants, all everything Jeez. gone, it would all come back and come back even more beautiful. Mm, um, life so finds we, a way. Because you do not need to worry about yeah. killing Mother Earth. Now, uh, making it a little more gentle on her, sure, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So will, will, will the new earth have more lush vegetation and animals or, and yes. I don't know, cleaner water, any, anything else that you want to yes. yeah, add he's, to the yeah, list? He's saying, um, yes, to all of that. And, and what's interesting is that he's, the animals are very cohesive, Oh, okay. um, which is just interesting because, you know, animals still have animal Instincts. tendencies. And Predator things, yeah. prey, yeah. Yes. But they say, excuse um, me, may I, I'm a lion, may I please, you're a sheep, may I please take one little nibble, a little, little just a little bite. <laughs> just a tiny um, taste. Yes. Yeah, but okay. he, he does say we're a long way away from this. It's a, yeah. We're a long way away from this. Okay. Well, do you know what it's going to look like 10 years from now? How, how much will have, you know, evolved with the new earth? Well, it, it's funny. He keeps tying it directly to the humans here because yeah. he says now you, it, it's just tied to the humans. Yeah. So it depends on us. The, yes, it does. Free will. Collective yes, free will too. But, he's, yeah. but he does say, it, and, and he, has, he has actually said this to me before. If you took um, a snapshot of the entire 18th century, you know, that hundred years. So 1820 to 1920, 
if you took a snapshot of that and then you went from 1920 to 2020, he said this last hundred years and even more specifically the last 50 years, there has been a significant increase in the evolution of the humans there. Okay. The enlightenment, yeah. the awakening, the, he said that this last 50 years compared yeah. to the 150, just the 150, he said, don't even talk about anything before that. He says it's, it's gotten so much better. Um, okay. it's, good. It's, looking, it's looking a little crazy right now um, mm. because <laughs> things he says have to kind of get out of hand before we find a new normal. Yeah, the dust has to settle. Yes. So, um, dust will be settled, he said, 10 years from 10 years from now, dust will be settled. I like that. Um, yeah. So, so there'll be, um, well, he's telling me there's going to be like, um, some, some new, like big things that people are going to be doing as far as like spirituality, oh. um, like big mass things. He says, not like, you know, not like Waco or anything like that. Sorry for the not what the, the, not like waco where that you know the, oh god no yeah <laughs> not like that kind of stuff no um, kool-aid involved yes yes um that are going to help um speed this up too over the next 10 years oh that's good i was going to ask that can can the, the, we as a collective you know maybe part of uh, of humanity do anything specifically to increase the evolution from uh, for so that the old earth becomes the new earth it just you know just keep spreading the light you know keep spreading the light um send love to earth, to the earth you know yeah like eric um, taught us yeah and oh, yes. others have taught us send, yeah to, to yeah, the core of mother earth love. just, just yes. your feet. yeah yes uh she's yeah. much more resilient than than some people think though much yeah. more resilient yeah good um okay well can can people right now who are really awakened not fully of course go to the new earth i mean is it another completely different planet or is it just that the dimension it's the same planet but the dimension it's, yeah, it's, like, yeah it's more like a dimensional a dimensional shift sort of thing and so uh, well actually He's telling me that, it, and this is not anything I've ever talked about on any of the videos, but he's telling me from r remote viewing, have, have, have you, have, are you familiar with remote oh, viewing? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know, don't so, know how to do it, but. Yeah, so he's saying like people now, humans now that are very, very good with remote viewing um, are able to do this. This is wow. like to see, it's kind of like a, it's just like, it's like a mirror image okay. or something so it's like the same but different um and people who are remote remote viewing or can truly see into the future um oh. could see some glimpses of what it's going to be yes but but no one can actually say okay bye old earth i'm going to the new earth like the missing 400 i mean maybe maybe they went to the new earth or so i, right. I don't think so but i mean but, something like oh, that where you disappear not, from this earth yes. no no, he's saying no. That's not that's not happening. No. Okay. All right. What will happen to it's, the old Earth when the new Earth actually you know, it's does more like a, it's come more into like a shift? He says it's like it's like the same but different. So it's the same ah. one but different. Um, so you like, just got a new haircut. In other words, like yeah, basically. Like, you know, you're the same. You just got a new, more spiritually awakened haircut. Yes. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. You got to dumb it down for us. Okay, uh, why is the Earth raising her vibration at this time? And has this, I don't know, it has it, number one. It hasn't happened before in history. Uh, don't stay on this, Jalon. Look at this. What? What's going on here? Oh, God. Start talking so I go away. I'll go like this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Because if I talk, does it go on to me? Yes, yes. And I'm worried about my neck. <laughs> uh -uh. Um. I, I got, I, I did lose the question. I apologize. What oh, was God. the question? <laughs> Sorry. First of all, is the earth raising her vibration, vibration at this time? And if she is, why? And, yes. Okay. Okay. We'll start okay. There. So what he's saying is that this, this is directly connected to the humans. Okay. Mm. So he says, imagine if you were in a room full of people who are miserable. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah. your vibration is going to lower. Even if you're, even if you walk into that room, not being miserable, yeah. it's, it's, especially if you're energetically sensitive, yeah. which earth is energetically sensitive. So if you walk into a room of misery, it's going to lower your vibration. Just the same if you walk into a room that's very uplifted and very positive, it's going to raise your vibration. Even if you weren't, you know, whether you were feeling bad or not, it's going to raise your vibration because oh, of the cool. collective energy of it is what he's oh, saying. So same thing with the earth. Yes. Yes. It now is... he says she does have a vibration of her own, uh -huh. um, but right now it's just so in tune with the humans. So again, if all the humans were gone, she has a natural vibration oh, that's yeah. much higher than when we're here. Yeah. Um, yeah we're spoilers. Uh, party poopers. Okay. So but it is raising its, but well, you said the la Eric, the last 50 years, much more spiritual awakening. So yes. I guess it is because we are yes. raising our collective yes. vibration. Hers is too. Has that happened before in history? This blog member wants to know. Um, so yeah, actually it's, it's kind of more like what he's saying is that, you know, way back before there was a lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know, so there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> yes. Uh, the vibration of earth ebbs and flows with the, with the human, the, the human race. Yes. So when there were few, um, even though there wasn't pollution and stuff, maybe the caveman days, I don't know, but yeah. there have been points in history when the population was sparse that it raised its, uh, she yes. raised her, okay. Yes. How has humans DNA changed with this rise in frequency in the earth? And how does that change occur on a physical level? She says, we are said to be moving from two strands of DNA to 12. What does that mean in terms of our awareness? I wanted to read you the whole thing right now, but let me back up one at a time. How, so you get the whole thing. Okay. How has human's DNA changed with, its frequent, with the frequency rise of the earth, if at all? Okay, I, I'll be very honest. He's Eric is not giving me much in regards to that. So, um, uh, it's, is it? uh, it, the, the human DNA change, he said, is not directly connected to what's going on with the earth. Oh. He says it's more connected to what goes on with the souls and what the souls experience, um, okay. whether on earth or on other planets or on the other side. Um, so, what he is saying is it's not really significant enough of okay a so all right so the frequency yeah, so rise I, on earth you know it's probably so little anyway it really does not change the it's not enough to change our dna yes our influence he says in that aspect in that regard our influence on earth is a bit stronger than her influence on us say okay. uh, just uh, go into detail so, about that like what what he's saying is like um like what we do here has more of an impact on her on earth. Okay. Um, you know, our oil spills, our oh, pollution. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and so be, because of that, like, like her impact, her effects don't affect us as much in the sense where it changes our DNA. Uh, I okay? see. It doesn't I mean it doesn't make us sad and doesn't, you know, give us, you know, yeah. other issues, but it's not affecting our DNA on a significant level. That that is, happens more elsewhere. Does the change in our DNA have to do with the biology of belief, like our thoughts change our DNA, as Bruce Lipton? Uh, yes, our, our thoughts, our knowledge, um, our experiences, okay. this, it's, it's like connected to the soul's DNA, ah, the, the DNA of the yeah. soul. The Spiritual spirit. DNA, yes. 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 That's cool. So um, that means in the new earth, we probably will have less disease, I guess. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, she also says uh, that uh, we're supposed to be moving to from two strands of DNA to 12. What does that mean in terms of our awareness? And that's probably way far out. It huh? is. It is because it's like, what's interesting is like Eric is saying like, in the human form, you have the two strands of DNA, but you, your soul has many more strands of DNA than that. Oh. So what, is it, what does the DNA in a soul, in a soul do? Replicate? Um, uh, I mean, what's it, it? They don't have cells, so it's not necessary yeah. for cell division. Yeah, but no. Is it something but, that translates into 
experience the, okay the experience of lives the ex yes because uh. you know it's like we do have distinct differences you know mm. even over there so um it, it's it, yes it doesn't we don't need it for cell cell division but okay it creates like a spiritual dna it's not the okay. same as like the dna here and he says just like he says just like everything else in the human form is kind of capped for you guys the dna is too uh oh huh? well like like some some spirits have a, a you know an ancestral line and a past life uh line of diabetes it keeps popping up popping up that's probably part of that spiritual that soul's spiritual dna yes okay yeah. well, so i get it so yes. the experience you have can change the dna of the spiritual dna and probably vice versa yeah so when are we looking at tw is it true that we'll eventually have 12 strands in the physical body or that's only in Spirit. yeah it's not it, it, he says no not in the physical body um and ever and not on well not on this earth not okay. not like once you get to that point because he said he does say when we go to other planets the okay. dna strands are there are more there, oh. there are more okay um so it's like if you can only take two of your dna strands to earth with you there's another other planets where you might be able to take six <laughs> um, oh i see kind of how he's putting it to me um and and so no tw reaching 12 with this earth on this planet no he says no that won't that okay. won't i mean it, it would be something that would take just thousands of years to to do okay so the next question of hers was how many strands does the average person have now and it was january 2019 i've been holding on to these questions a long time but anyway 2020 so there's two right yeah okay um is there a difference in the number of strands in souls that were human that, and that are now have now transitioned i mean do some have 12 do some have six or, in, the, in the soul in the, as a yeah, soul their spiritual dna uh, yes yes yeah but he says it's not exactly the what the like you guys equate dna to but yes okay. there, yes he says uh, on the soul level always like spiritual dna strands and in the human form i see okay um, you just can't you can't have access to all of them yeah um, so what about our higher higher selves do does one person's higher self which is the soul right have mm -hmm. more dna strands than somebody else's higher self yeah yeah he's saying more? it is directly connected to knowledge and um you know evolving in this in this sort of thing so yes i got it so yes. experiences past lives yes. future lives everything yes um okay does anyone on earth have 12 strands or does anybody on earth have a higher self that has 12 strands it, okay so what he's kind of saying about that is that really he's getting a kick once, out of this i have a feeling yeah once you get to that level you don't really need to go back to earth oh okay um, because you probably evolved to the point where you don't need to. However, he says you might, because you might have souls that you really love that are in your soul family who ask you to come back. And uh. so, so you may, but yes, he says most of the, most humans are not walking around that have souls with the, you know, the 12. Okay. Strands of, but of maybe DNA. you, you want to come back because you want to help and help ra raise the vibration of the, of the earth. Yes, and of, humanity. of the earth. Yes. And human. Yeah, absolutely absolutely okay. what is the photon belt in terms of the new earth and has it affected the earth and humans i have no idea what that is ask eric does he I have, know yeah Maybe we're I not allowed no to either so so i'm like um help me out here the photon belt um and i quite honestly am not getting anything on that i apologize but okay eric just uh, give us a little something is is there a photon belt is there such thing one as one? Um, no, he, he, he says no. It's a, it's a theory. It's a oh, theory okay. that does not exist yet. Oh, but it could. Yes. Well, probably, is it, do we, you just don't want to tell us because we're not really meant to know yet. Is that it? Um, yeah, there's, it's like we're way away from that. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, this is, he says this is something that nobody there who's living right now in this life will even experience um it's has to it's a magnetic thing though is what oh. he's just said 
um, th there's like a magnetic shift. Okay. That will have to happen. Will we have um, more magnetic personalities when that happens? I'm kidding. <laughs> Possibly, yes. Yeah, um, it's, it has something to do with a magnetic shift of Earth. Oh, I see. And we're not really supposed to know what its purpose is? No. Okay. No, no, because... Is it, is it, no, because... Well, what he's saying is that... Yes, and when it starts to happen, like the people who are scientists then, it's going to be kind of like whatever this magnetic shift is, whatever it'll be scientifically um, significant. Okay. Um, but they won't understand it at first. Oh, okay. Is yeah. it a pole shift, shift of the poles, or a change in the magnetic pole? Um, it, it, it's yes, in the mag, in the mag, in the magnetic and stuff, yeah. force. In the, oh, I, don't, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. So, um, but you said that aliens are creating it, or does Mother Earth create it, or whatever? Are we not meant to know, basically? No, it, there's definitely um, alien activity here, um, but it's like the Earth is capable of doing this. So it's almost like as if something's being activated. Oh. Um, and it will be to help us. Okay. Um, he says it will be to help, to help okay. the human race. But, but you know, as, as humans, we don't always recognize when things are good for us and helpful to us. Like so cod liver oil. Mm. Yeah. Open your mouth. Well, it's going to be good for you. Yeah. Right, the Earth is apparently splitting and moving to two separate dimensions or paths. Well, first of all, is that true? Um, yeah, it's, it's, well, he says it's really not as much of a split as an evolution. Okay. It's, yeah. The haircut thing. Yes. Right. Yes. Like you don't have a, you know, a, a Jennifer as you are now, and then boom, you evolved to have a new Paris, Paris fashion haircut. Yeah. So there are two of you. Did my mother call that. you and tell you to tell me I need to get my haircut? No, <laughs> I probably, maybe I channeled her. I don't know. But did she? Did she tell you to? Oh, she. Yes, yeah, she's always harassing me about my hair. Oh my god! Um, it's Why so crazy beautiful? And it's super long. Oh, um, so beautiful! You're brave. I can't do that with bad hair days in Houston. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, um, so, so basically, we are slowly shifting, cutting yes. one little strand of hair at a time. Yes. Okay. So then, um, I guess this is. They say we need to be awake to move to the new earth, but that's, mm -hmm. I guess that is really, you know, we just need to wait until the haircut is it's finished. A, it's a process. And it's so, when you said that, Eric's like, that's an excellent analogy. He says, cause imagine just cutting one piece of hair like a day. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you cut the last piece of hair, the first piece of hair is, you know, so it's like, you know, you're constantly, constantly working. Trimming. It seems like you're not getting anywhere, but. Yeah, the hair grown back. Very, gra do do? very gradual. It's a very oh, gradual. Process. So well, you need, he says you need to cut, you need to cut quicker, which is what's, what he's talking about has happened over the last few oh, years. Oh, I see. There's been a quicker, you know, so instead of cutting one piece of hair a day, you're cutting 10 a day. You know, oh, so that, you know, by the time you get to the Still kind of grows end, back, you get catch up. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, here, another All right, question. I'll get my hair cut. No, I'm just kidding. No. We, <laughs> we seem to be getting closer to a cutoff point to either move to the new earth or not. Is that true? No. True. No. Okay. No. He says it, it, you have so much of a grace period. So it's, it, it's not either you do it or it doesn't happen. There, okay. It, it's, you know, there's a grace yeah. period for us. Well, is there a certain percent of the population that, when fully awake, will create this new earth, this this full finish with a haircut done? He's what he's saying is that's more when all of the souls. Oh, good lord! All of the human race are at that point. Okay. Because well, until that I'll happens, there's still there's still need for this earth, you yes, know? Yeah. Um, what, what we're talking about is kind of really more a shift from this earth to the new earth mm -hmm. where we don't, because we don't really need the, the harsh lessons yeah. um, that we get here. You know, at some point he says, you know, if you keep coming into lives and you keep having these harsh lessons, at some point you guys learn. 
Yes. You know, at some, some point, you don't are, need those lessons anymore. Yeah, some of them are slow learners. Yes, and that's okay. <laughs> like me. Um, <laughs> all right, so, uh, so it doesn't sound like something that's beneficial to all of a sudden the old um, earth gets its full haircut. There's a new earth. Then there's, you know, do we, are we still going to be need to be in bodies? I mean, there's, is there any polarity still? Any uh, useful human experiences to be had? Um, no. Okay. So it, if, it, he says, if we're talking full shift, full shift to the new earth, mm -hmm. then no, there are some human experiences that do not need to happen anymore. Oh, okay. Well, what, then what's going to go on in, in the new earth then that we will still have, or maybe there'll be new things, yes. types of experiences. I don't know. Yes. New types of experiences, milder experiences, um, you know, Stuff that's not quite as crazy as it is here um yeah so there'll still be a point there'll still be point like like he says there's planets there's other planets that are much gentler to go to mm -hmm. um than earth and they're not pointless to go to there yeah. still is a point to go there um and so one of the things he says is that <laughs> okay so he says you can never really learn enough about love that's true um so he said that that's one of the things like you can never learn enough about love and there'll be a different, um, you know, aspect of learning about love mm -hmm. in the new earth than just remaining on the other side. Will there be mostly peace in the new earth? Yes. And um, the, the lush greenery and mm -hmm. animals, you know, vibrant living creatures yes. um, thrive. Yes. Yep. Wow. It's going to be a long time. So, yeah. um, yes, it is going to be a long time. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, name one human experience that we'll have some, a soul would, would have in a human body in the new earth that it wouldn't have in the old earth here, here and now. Okay. So an experience that we would have over there in the new earth that we would not have here. Yeah. Something that helps us evolve, but we don't get to do here. Oh boy, give me a second with that one, because um, that is a tough one. Might not be actually, able to. Actually, he just said we'll be able to fly. Ooh, all right. <laughs> okay, will that help us evolve? I guess we fall. <laughs> yes, uh, okay. yes. Apparently, apparently, it it will. Um, and I'm saying, like, like on jetpacks or something. He said no, just. Wow, that's cool. Ooh, that um, is a long time in the future. Yeah, yeah. We'll be swinging well, like, from those twelve strands of DNA in the sky, maybe. Yes, yes, yeah. <sighs> um, and he says there won't be the the kind of loss that you experience as a human. Oh, good. So what he's saying is, from there, um, there'll be a lot less of a veil between the new oh. earth, earth and the other side. A lot less of a veil. So more communication with more communication with the other side. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Will we speak Clear telepathically? Um, yes, but you see, he says you'll also be able to see a lot, a lot more. Oh, wow. Will there be any disease or disorders, conditions, illness? Um, yes, some, but not, not like what, what you experience here he says there may be some like uh yeah you still get tired you're still gonna need to sleep you know like that yeah. kind of stuff but okay. not to the extent Ooh. of how long will we live to... since there, since we'll, our body will probably be in better shape i don't know will yeah. our lifespans be expanded yeah oh yeah lifespans yes yes to well, like because he's giving me up to the 200s oh dang um, Ugh, that sounds awful it does sound awful as a oh, human. God. Yes, it sounds absolutely yeah. awful as a human. Uh, this body ain't going to take that. I'm telling you right now. Yes. All right, yes. well, anything else you want to share before we close? Uh, no, no. All right, thank no. you, Eric, so much. I love you. And Jennifer, you, this, is, this was tough. I, I had no idea what this is all about. I so didn't either. You guys uh, get in touch with Jennifer at psychicmediumjenniferdorn.com which I'll put right here. Jennifer, anything else you want to share about you and what you have to offer? Um, well, check my website out. I do offer some training, um, some training classes. 
Um, if you're not following me on Facebook or my website, you might want to, because sometimes I do like group events, that sort of thing. That you oh, that's awesome. Well. Yes. Do um, that. So definitely Facebook. Yeah. Facebook's a good one to follow me on because a lot of my special offers go only onto Facebook. Oh, that's great. And they're awesome offers. So you guys, please, can you please hit subscribe, please, and the like button and the notification bell. I would sure appreciate it. And I uh, love you guys. Love you, Eric. Love you, Jennifer. Until Eric the next says time. I love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.